Hello, my name is Christopher and today I'm going to install Ring on Scripted and get it all running and be able to where you can click on the Ring plugin in Scripted and see your live streams, your video doorbells, uh, your cameras and, and Ring. So, a little bit about this series as I'm going over installing a smart home from scratch. So I'm going to go over home automations, installing software, everything like that. So subscribe, comment, like, and let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start on the home page of Scripted, and then I'm going to go to Management Console right here. And then we're going to go to Plugin Management here, and then we're going to go Install. And then up in the search box, we're going to type in Ring, and then you can see it down here, and then you have an Install button, and then I'm going to click it. And then now it's going to ask you to put in your ring username and password and your two-factor uh, code. I'm going to pause it right here and do that. And then I'll be right back. So once you come back here and you put in your email, password, two-factor code. And if you do get an error in the two-factor code, you just need to put it in and try again. And then now you press the save button right here. And then once it successfully does it, you will see a ring location right here, or you'll have a different name. And then now you can go in this ring location. You can ch change the ring location's name. You can uh, see the extensions. You can see the console, the the uh, the events, the storage, the REPL, the uh, delete. You can delete the whole plugin uh, of the ring location. I mean, and um, so. You can see all your Ring devices right here, and then you can go to Extra Ring, which I have an Extra Ring, that it's doorbell. So now, you can go in here, and you can see the console of the Ring. You can see the REPL, the, the events that happened to it, the storage, and you can delete the ca camera as well. You can go over here to see the video clips, so you can click on one, and you can see what ha happens with that one. You can also download the motion clip too, right here. You can delete it, and then you can go through the uh, the dates right here, and you can see more what happened. So now you can also um, you can go to snapshots. You can snapshot URL. You can change it, the pre buffer, the snapshot resolution. And then you can also edit the ring camera. So if, so when you're using it on a home kit, uh, you do need to take out the spaces and the caps. So so I would personally uh, do, do ring. And then now that will uh, more than likely do fine for, uh, for, for the MDNS uh, domain to work. Okay, now you go down in your save. You can also put a room and you can change the type of it. A camera, sensor, doorbell. It's a doorbell, so I'm going to leave it doorbell. So you can change the extensions that, that are used on this uh, ring camera. You can web RTC. You can turn it on or off by just clicking them. So now you can see the battery percentage right here. You can, uh, you can see when there's motion. And then, um, so that is how to get your ring doorbells on Scripted. So I just walked you through step by step on getting ring on Scripted. This makes it to where you can uh, send your ring video streams to like Apple TVs or anything with HomeKit. And it's really neat to be able to pop up when somebody comes at your ring doorbell and see it on the Apple TV in the, in the right, uh, top right and be able to uh, see when people come to your door, everything like that. So uh, so if you like this uh, tutorial, subscribe, comment, like. And also, if you need support, you can join the Big Bear community down, down below in the description. And also, you can comment on any of the videos. So, stay tuned for more.